This is the DeWalt 20 volt max hammer drill with flex volt advantage. It doesn't look much different than the DCD 997 we've been using for the past couple of years, but it's what's on the inside that promises to make a world of difference. Thanks for clicking on our video. We really appreciate it. While you're here, consider helping us out by hitting the subscribe button and give us a thumbs up if you like what you see. When you're finished watching this video, check out our review of DeWalt's Gen 2 Flex Volt Reciprocating Saw. We're going to run this drill through the PTR test track three times, in fact, so stay tuned for that. But first, let's take a quick tour of the drill's features. There's a general design that doesn't stray far from DeWalt's top end offerings. You see it in their standard hammer drill, their tool connect version, a power detect model, and now a flex volt advantage version. You switch between the three gear modes on top of the drill, and now there's LED light controls that show up on the foot of the tool. Bare, the drill weighs 3.6 pounds, and that's just a couple ounces more than the tool connect version we've been using. But it's what's on the inside that makes this drill so compelling. FlexVolt Advantage is a technology that senses the battery that you've got in there, and when you use a FlexVolt battery, it increases the performance in a major way. How much more? DeWalt tells us to expect better than 40% more power when you're using that FlexVolt battery. We've got Tom warming up on the PTR test track to see how that extra power translates into working speed. He's going to start with a 2 amp hour battery, then switch over to a 5 amp hour, and finally, we're going to run that 6 amp hour flex volt battery. With the 2 amp hour battery fresh off the charger, Tom's off and running, well, driving, through Drywaller's Gambit. A little hesitation on some of those screws, but he's managed to avoid any major time killers. Some confusion at the first change as he slides the battery off instead of switching the bits heading into low voltage pull. Fortunately, the drill bails him out by making quick work of that half inch twist bit section. Looks like the chuck's locked up on him with the transition to a spade bit, but now he's making his way through EMT bend and dropping into second gear after the first few holes. Tom's going into Peck's pull through still in second gear and now realizes high speed has enough muscle to bore with that auger bit and finish as well. Now drilling with the smaller one inch hole saw to start deadbolt and lock set and he's still in high speed. Transitioning to the two and an eighth inch hole saw and there's not quite enough power to continue in high so he drops down to second gear and finishes off the course. Tom lost a little bit of time on that first run thanks to human error, but that's part of the fun. He's got a fresh 5 amp hour battery ready for the start of round two, and here we go. Off to a shaky start with the drill in low speed. Finding some rhythm now, but there goes a drop screw. Making his way through the end, he looked a little slower than the 2 amp hour pack. Good transition to the twist bit, and Tom is making quick work of that section. Another quick change with just a slight double clutch before getting started, and it looks like this battery lets him stay in high speed. Boring quickly through with an auger bit, these speeds look really close to DeWalt's DCD 997 that currently tops our leaderboard. Settling in now for the toughest part of the course and the first hole saw is already through. A quick change to second gear, oh there's a little bind up, but it looks like that section went much faster with the bigger battery. Here's what we've been waiting to see. Can DeWalt's FlexVolt Advantage deliver on its claims of more power? The drill is definitely heavier with this large of a pack and it's debatable how much of an advantage Tom is getting with these small drywall screws. That drop screw there is going to cost him a little time as he now has to retrieve it. It's making a difference in low voltage pull though. It's making the stud look rotten with how fast Tom's drilling. A good transition to the spade bit and this is impressively fast work through EMT bend. The auger bit's smoother boring is slowing Tom down a touch but not nearly enough for him to change out of high speed. That's certainly the fastest we've seen any drill push through the first part of deadbolt and lock set. Just look at the way Tom is leaning on that drill with the larger hole saw. There's a little bind up, but still in high speed, and that's a fast finish. All right, so DeWalt's DCD 997 currently sits at the top of the leaderboard with a time of 2 minutes and 34 seconds, so that's what we're looking to beat. Now with the 2 amp hour battery, let's see what we ended up with. 3 minutes, 36 seconds, and that was good enough for 6th place overall. Not a bad start, but plenty of room for improvement there. So switching over to that 5 amp hour pack, and we beat the 3 minute mark, we got down to 257, and that actually slides just into fourth place ahead of Makita's XPH07. But that's still not quite what we're looking for. So what about that flex volt advantage battery? Boom! 2 minutes, 19 seconds, that puts DeWalt into first place over itself by 15 seconds, that's massive! Here's the thing, the test track is a lot of fun, but it's not exactly scientific since there's so much room for human error. So I want to take a minute and highlight the toughest part of the course, the two hole saws. 
The two amp hour battery needed 11.37 seconds to make it through with that one inch hole saw. The flex volt battery needed just 4.35 seconds, a massive 62% faster. And it gets even better with the larger hole saw. The two amp hour battery needed 38.62 seconds to make it through with that two and an eighth inch hole saw, but the flex volt battery just needed 6.17 seconds, and that is an astounding 84% improvement in cutting speed. Now we also need to realize that DeWalt's claim is about power, not speed, so all this is relative. But I think we can all agree that the performance boost we're seeing is huge. These tests also show us that the greater the load on the drill, the greater the performance boost that you get from the FlexVolt Advantage technology. That's something to keep in mind when you're trying to decide which drill to buy. Let's talk price. You can pick up the DCD 999 as a bare tool for $179 or with a 6 amp hour FlexVolt battery for $279. There are also several combo kits available. Now, if you have any questions or feedback for us, feel free to leave those in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching. Help us out by subscribing to our channel below. If you enjoyed what you saw, hit that like button and turn on notifications to stay up to date on our latest videos.